The roots of the Waco Civic Theater date back to the 1920s, when the work of many enlightened citizens combined to form the Waco Little Theater. Well, the theater itself as a group started as far back as the 20s, I think something like 1926, and there was a group called the Waco Little Theater, the WLT, and it went on for about 20 years or so, and then in the mid-40s, they kind of changed the name and decided to make an actual building. So that's when they started getting the plans together to create the Waco Civic Theater. After World War II is when the Waco Civic Theater uh, really kind of launched itself. I remember as a child going to the uh, Baylor Theater to see a production of uh, the comedy John Loves Mary. I went with my parents because uh, there was a person we knew in the cast. And uh, at that time, the Waco Civic Theater after World War II in the late 40s and early 50s was a gypsy organization. Uh, they, would, they didn't have a building, and they would go from one location to the other. They, they would do a play at uh, the James Connolly Air, Air Base, which is now TSTC. Uh, they would do a play at the YMCA, at the Baylor Theater, uh, at the YWCA. Uh, they would do plays anywhere they could uh, they could get permission to do one. They got a building, I, I, I think I'm right about this, there, was, there were two buildings before the present building. One building I don't know about, but the other building was a building I do remember, and it was on West Avenue between uh, 15th Street and 18th Street on West Avenue. And it was an old barracks, and I remember I went to see a production of uh, Mr. Roberts at one time. And the theater was a long theater, and the stage was rather elevated. You, you would look up uh, to see the, the actors. It was an exciting theater. It was an exciting building. It was like the old summer theater, summer stock theaters in the east that were converted, barns that were converted into theaters. And when you walked in, you smelled theater. I mean, it just, it was so theatrical. It was a very theater, uh, theatrical atmosphere. And uh, one night, as... Uh, nature and the laws of physics would have it, lightning struck it when everyone was asleep and it burned completely to the ground. Everyone woke up and uh, the ashes were, were smoldering. And again, they were a gypsy organization. The guy that was kind of in charge of the whole plan and the whole idea behind getting the Waco Civic Theater was actually the head of the Baylor Theater Department at the time and his name was Paul Baker. Dr. Baker collaborated with architect James Hull Miller of Shreveport, Louisiana to design and build a new Waco Civic Theater at its current locale. So he was quite instrumental in getting this whole thing off the ground, got some great grants to get a theater built uh, by the Baird family. They went to, um, I say they, uh, the people involved in the theater at that time, went to Madison Cooper, and he said, well, I can tell that you want a theater. And so he gave the money for the present building to be built. And it was built in, uh, I believe, 1958. It opened in 1958. I know Paul Baker, uh, Mr. Paul Baker, brought uh, an architect here to design the building. And it is a very, very flexible building. Uh, they can do uh, plays just about anywhere in, in, in the auditorium, in the uh, Henry Snyder, uh, a part of the theater, wing of the theater. At that time was quite brown, groundbreaking and um, was recognized as being quite special in the way of theater design. So noteworthy was the success of their teamwork that the new theater was commended in 1963 by the Journal of the Royal Institute of British Architects as one of the three best designed theaters of its kind in the United States. When I was growing up in Waco, my parents were members of the Waco Civic Theater, and they would bring me to see the shows. And I used to marvel at how people who had full-time jobs elsewhere could come together in the evenings and put together such wonderful performances. So it always piqued my interest to see what the Waco Civic Theater was really all about. But I got very interested in music, so much so that I became a DJ and worked in radio for 35 years until I retired and moved back to my hometown of Waco read in the newspaper where they were having auditions for Man of La Mancha. And I thought, hmm, that might be my first opportunity to try musical theater. So I got the part of the Padre and played 11 performances of that show and really loved it. 
And from that point forward, I was bitten by the bug. I first became involved in the Waco Civic Theater in May of 2002, probably right before that, when I found out that they were doing auditions for Fiddler on the Roof which is a show that I've always loved but had never been involved with. I had been living in Waco already for a few years, and one of the first things I did when I moved to Waco was check to see if there was any kind of community theater and had gotten to be able to come here and see a few shows. But when that show came up and auditions were announced for that, I knew I had to come audition, and I've been involved at the Waco Civic Theater ever since. And for many years, I was in the repertory company at the Dallas Theater Center. Uh, and I made my living as an actor in the repertory company. And I've done theater and film, and uh, I've also done uh, a lot of theater at the Waco C Civic Theater. I did uh, 16 roles over a period lasting from uh, November of 1979 until uh, Christmas of 2000. And uh, I played many roles. Uh, one of the roles I played was Otto Frank, in the Diary of Anne Frank. It was not the, the, the last production, it was the, a, 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 a production that was done in the past. I think it was in 96, it was in the 90s sometime. And uh, living through that, living through hiding from the Nazis in an attic, night after night, changed my life. It really did. It, uh, after the final curtain of Anne Frank came down, uh, I think I was a better person. I, it started me thinking about uh, the universe and God and who we are and so forth. And before that time, I think I had always been rather, rather selfish. And uh, it started me thinking about my fellow man. And uh, I would like to think that I was a better person for having played Otto Frank in the Diary of Anne Frank uh, than I was previously. <laughs> Some may disagree, but I would like to think that. <laughs> Did I just see you talking with two men? Men? Men, Mr. Van de Gelder, in a lady's hat shop? Now come, I'm so excited for you to see my workroom. I saw it last week. So you did. Today, the Waco Civic Theater produces six main stage productions, ranging from works by Shakespeare to Neil Simon. I think the, the best feeling is um, just pure self-satisfaction and excitement. I mean, it's all about you getting to create a character and being somebody that you're not, even for just five minutes, it's kind of invigorating almost. Um, and I, like I said before, I've been doing it for a long time, so it's more, it's changed over time. Now that I'm a little bit older, it's like, you get to kind of take a step away from reality, and that's why I like it so much, I think. Oh, it's, it's just the best feeling in the world. I mean, I just, I, I don't even, I can't even understand. Like, whenever you walk out, that feeling when you walk out during the, um, during the uh, the curtain call, and then right as you get to the front of the stage, everyone stands up. It's just like the best feeling in the world. It's just like it just it's like you're on the top of a mountain, and you just it's it's just like gosh. I love putting on a show for people. I like to see their face and how much they feel for the show, and how much they enjoyed it, and what they took out of it is really just really great feeling to me. It's, it's very exciting. I was, I was very worried at first, but you spend so much time with a group of people going through it all. It kind of, when the curtains open, it's almost kind of like, you know, just second, second, what do you call it? Um, it's just reaction. And um, then when you hear the applause from the crowd, um, it's, it's, a, it's a great experience. I really think that having a civic theater gives people like myself, who maybe have a full-time job doing, being a dentist or full-time job being an accountant, have an opportunity to express themselves in a different light and pretend to be someone else for a change. Well, I think it's a very important part of Waco. It really gives people a sense of community. When you come together for a huge project, like a play or a musical, it really gives you a sense of camaraderie with other people and it gives you that creative outlet. Uh, there are certain people that are just kind of born to perform and to be in front of people or to be creative and it just really gives you that outlet for that creative energy that you have inside of you. I think uh, theater anywhere uh, is a powerful instrument. Uh, theater can do something a movie can't. When it's well done, when the production is well done, it has to be awfully well done for this to happen. It has to be brilliant actors, 
brilliant actors, director, and it, 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 when that happens, the audience feels as if they're right there with the people, with, with the actors, with the characters, rather, and it's taking place. And you do, really don't get that in a movie. There's an immediacy there, but it has to be awfully well done for, for that to happen. Uh, but theater, you know, theater was the first thing Hitler got control of when he came into power. He and the Nazis came into power in 1933. Theater is a powerful instrument. It can enlighten, it can entertain, it can uh, encourage, it can inspire, and uh, it's a powerful instrument. Uh, and uh, when you get good actors who, have, who know how to play subtext and who know how to do impulse lines where you listen to the other actor and find something in what he's saying to, to motivate you to say your next line and he does the same thing or she does the same thing and it bounces back and forth like a tennis ball. The scenes come to life and they breathe and uh, that's when theater is really exciting. It's, it definitely, it makes you feel good about yourself. When you get up on stage and you've done all this hard work for weeks and weeks and weeks and you've worked on memorizing your lines and you've helped build the set and bring everything together and then you get out on that stage and you have people that are there that have come to see what you and your fellow actors and stagehands have put together. It kind of gives you a, a real sense of, I've, I've accomplished something. The main thing that I'm getting out of it is it was my introduction to Wake Up. It was my way to meet friends, to meet people. It's a lot of hard work. Uh, I do more of the behind the scenes work, like stage managing. Uh, I've, d I've done, this last time I was uh, uh, part of the set crew, running, running the show when it was actually going on, bringing up props. I helped with the uh, managing of the props. Um, so, <clears throat> since I've been in Waco, that's, that's the only thing I've done because I just got here. But uh, I've done a lot of the um, uh, lights, the directing, stage manager, technical director, um, sound boards. I've done all of that before, but usually I, I don't do the acting. I leave that to the, to the, to the good people. <laughs> My mom always had loved the, the musical Sound of Music, and she heard that we, they were doing it here, and um, she's like, oh my gosh, you have to audition, you have to audition. I was like, I don't know. My brother had done a show before and he had really liked it and I was like, I don't know if that's for me, but then I auditioned and it's just like, I, I once opening night opened, I walked out on the audience and it just hit me. It's just like, wow, it's, it, <laughs> the bug bit, I guess is what my mom always said, the theater bug. Cause it just, I've, I've loved it ever since. We work so hard backstage. We build all the sets. We have numerous, hours of rehearsals and it's really fun to see what could happen once you do all that amount of work for that great show. The Waco Civic Theater gives me an outlet to uh, be imaginative, creative, direct people in plays, sing, dance, anything that uh, you can think of is available at the Waco Civic Theater. I think the, the thing that people most need to know about the Waco Civic Theater is that it's a community theater. It's not a small group of people that have gotten together and they're always working together. It's open for anyone in the greater Waco area. I think it's important to volunteer. I think that's an important part of everybody's life. Uh, Sometimes the younger people, they don't, they don't understand that. And it doesn't really matter where you volunteer, just volunteer. To me, this is a good outlet for volunteering. Um, and like I said, it's, it's not easy all the time. It's uh, hard work and it's very time consuming. You know, we're, we're down here all day today building a set and we, we don't get paid for that. We don't get any type of uh, monetary or, or real recognition for it except for a self-satisfaction and a good feeling. Well, auditions are open for anyone and even if you're not in the show, you can still come and build set. You can come do it if you if you can work a sewing machine. You can come do that. Anything we any volunteer ability is welcomed and appreciated. If there's a, an opportunity that you wanted to have volunteered, the Waco Civic Theater is one of the best ways. You meet so many people um, from every different industry that you have. And you don't have to have to have an acting or singing background. Just join, and if you want to 
experience that, then they will help you guide you on your way. I'm then actually gonna take singing and tap dancing lessons because I'd like to get in Chicago. So anybody that ever wants to be in any kind of theater in any way, you know, just call them up and they can actually help you if you wanna build sets, if you want to um, promote it, try to raise money, be a fundraiser. Um, anything like that. Anyone, all ages, all sizes, all shapes, all colors, everyone is invited to, to be participate. Um, and they need that because we run on volunteers. Uh, we had a really hard time putting sets together with only five of us. So it's work days and it's, you know, coming up on nights and, and even just having little parts. With, that's what we thrive for. It's what we need. Community involvement. It's, we need people to help. And when there are auditions that are announced in the newspaper or on TV or on the radio, that means anyone, everyone is invited. I would just say that I, I would want um, Waco Theater audiences to support the Waco Civic Theater. It's, a, it's, a, it's a, an, uh, an organization that needs your, your support. And uh, there is a season ticket drive. I hope you buy season tickets. And it's... Uh, it's, it's, it's something original and unique. I moved here from Houston, and Houston is such a, a big city to where you don't know anybody. You, do, you know, they've got all the, the fine arts and stuff, but it's not on a personal level. Here, when you put on a, a play, it's on a much more personal level. It's an intimate setting. The, uh, the actors and the actresses and the, the stagehands, the directors, everybody, they, they become like a family. I think it's a great opportunity to show your family arts, um, especially musicals and plays, and there's a lot of talent and a lot of education involved in the civic theater. And I think they need to you know, get out and go try it, you know, even if it is just to build a set or possibly sing a small little role. It, it's definitely something that changes you as a person. And I ask uh, anyone who sees this, uh to please support the Waco Civic Theater. The mission of the Waco Civic Theater, a nonprofit organization, is to provide the heart of Texas community with quality live theater, to create an outlet for community education and participation in all aspects of productions, and to instill in the community a sense of pride and ownership in the theater.